everybody. Hello, hello. Uh, Miss Pettit here again. I miss all of you so much and I can't wait to see you next week. Uh, week of the 15th, Monday now is when I'll be coming back. I know, I know. I was really excited to come back this Thursday, but I can't wait to see all of your faces and I've missed all of you so, so much. Um, I hope you've been making artwork during this time in your free time and the projects that I've seen so far have looked fabulous. Keep up the amazing work. Um, so here's how I created the Laurel Birch inspired cat drawing, right? I use paper, obviously, right? I also use a pencil, okay, to draw my cat. And then I used a permanent marker to trace my lines after I finished drawing. And then to add colors, I use colored pencils. If you don't have colored pencils, you could use crayons or markers, whatever tools that you have available at home or at school, okay? And yeah, so we're gonna go ahead and begin. So Laurel Birch was a really unique artist in that she created artwork um, to deal with her osteoporosis and to find joy even though she was feeling pain. Um, and instead of making her artwork about the pain, she made her artwork vibrant, colorful, exciting, and positive, right? Because that was the kind of energy she wanted to spread throughout the world. Um, she would, you know, make all of these beautiful paintings also of people and mythical creatures such as mermaids. And she loved color and loved pattern. So we are going to be focusing on ways that we can use unique colors and unique patterns um, using the handout of ideas um, and create our own colorful cat drawing, right? Um, all of her cats had patterns, all of them had bright colors, and um, she really wanted to create positive artwork, right? Um, so I'm excited to see what all of you come up with. Maybe if you have a cat at home, you can uh, take some inspiration from them. <laughs> This is going to divide or separate one, two, three, four rectangles throughout your paper. And inside each rectangle, we're going to have the head here, the back of the of the cat right here. And so within each rectangle, we're going to have a different body part for the cat. So, what we're gonna do first is we're gonna draw the face. All right, all done with the head. Now, there are lots of patterns, right? But we'll be adding those after we draw the whole cat first. So we're not gonna add a pattern from the handout to their face quite yet. We're gonna start to draw the rest of the body and then we'll begin adding the fun decorations, okay? So next we're gonna draw the back of the cat going down. All right. So I drew the cat's back, it's a long curved line, almost like a backwards letter C. And I stopped right once I got to the bottom left rectangle here. So once you get to about here, we're gonna stop, all right? And then we are going to draw our cat's paws, their front paws in the bottom left rectangle. So I'm drawing a straight vertical line down and this will be our cat's arm. And I'm gonna curve as I get to the bottom for the first paw. And then, almost like making a letter W, All right, I'm gonna draw both of those paws there. I have a little bit of space between my paw and my tail, but that's okay. I'll just connect them, um, a little line maybe. Next, we can draw the tail itself. All right, my tail's gonna be um, smooth, right? But if you want, you can give your cat a bushy tail, or maybe your cat's scared or afraid of something. It has a really puffy spiked tail, like it's scared, right? You can be creative. Oh, last but not least, I just realized we have to add the chin 
for our cat as well. So I'm gonna do that by drawing a little U right here. All right. Now for the first section, for the face, you can pick anywhere on your cat's face to add that decoration. I think that the swirls would look nice and big on the, on the mouth, on the cheeks, actually on the cheeks of my, of my cat here. Almost like rosy cheeks, right? Or like they're blushing. So I'm gonna draw my swirly design from the handout on one side and then copy the second swirl on the other side of my cat's face. There's number one. Now there's two different options for the body. There's the first body pattern and then the second one. Um, so for example, um, I landed on number four for my second pattern. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start drawing my second pattern on this side of my cat and I'm gonna draw my other pattern on the other side. So I'm taking my pencil and drawing a bunch of U's because the pattern had a bunch of curved lines. All right, I got to my tail and there are two different patterns for the tail. So I'm gonna leave my pattern there. Next, I'm gonna do my second pattern for the body. All right, where I rolled number one for the zigzags. And I'm gonna put all the zigzags right here in this empty space. You could choose um, your first pattern for your tail to be the tip of the tail, and then the second pattern to be the bottom of the tail, right? Or you could mix both patterns together at the same time by having, um, let's say, uh, diagonal lines and polka dots all mixed together and jumbled up for both patterns together. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have my pattern one up here and my pattern two down there. everybody so I'm all done now if you look up close you do see a little bit of white space but colored pencil was what I was using you could use markers or crayons whatever you would like we just want to try and fill our whole paper and use whatever colors you would like right the important thing is that you have fun and like always you know the first time you try something if it doesn't go as well as you thought you can always try again right yeah. um, I will see all of you again uh, next week so the week of March 15th I'll be back all right, I can't wait to see all of you. I hope that these videos are helpful for all of you. All right, um, I will see you all soon.